The AI revolution isn't coming, it's already here. And it's creating two types of people. Those getting seriously rich with AI and those being left behind. But I don't want you to be left behind. I'm Suleiman. I've worked in tech for a decade. I run my own AI cloud security consultancy. And through my academy, I've helped more than 500 students learn cloud and AI. Today, I'm sharing three phases that will take you from beginner with no experience to an irreplaceable AI engineer that can earn more than $370,000 a year. And if you stay until the end, you'll know how to get rich with AI so fast that it feels illegal. Starting with phase number one, quick money. There is four steps to making you money immediately while building your AI skill set: Mastering prompt engineering, the art of giving AI perfect instructions to get exactly what you want, which definitely requires some skill. There are companies paying six-figure salaries for prompt engineers right now. So, here is three ways that you can get more out of AI. Firstly, tell it to think through your problem step by step. Give the AI a specific expert role, like tell it has 10 years of marketing experience and it's the best in the world at its job. Feed the AI with specialized knowledge and detailed context to make it an industry expert. Now, take your skills to industries ripe for AI disruption. Those boring ones that nobody really thinks of, like home services, roofing, plumbing, HVAC. You can start making money immediately by offering prompt engineering services to these businesses in your local area. Because most companies know they need AI, but they have no idea how to use it effectively. And you can solve that problem for them. While step one is great to get you started, if you really want to leverage AI, you have to work with real data and information. Step two, create an AI assistant inside of ChatGPT by leveraging their custom GPT feature. You're taking your new prompt engineering skills and now adding a custom AI intelligence layer, feeding it with real information that it can learn from. For example, you might create an AI assistant for a business that knows their complete internal policy, company culture, the do's and the don'ts. This can be used as part of the onboarding process for new employees, letting them get all of their questions answered straight away without wasting anyone's valuable time or resources. Step three, learn Python. Learning programming, specifically Python, the language of AI, allows you to build AI assistants like chatbots and plug them into anyone's website. The reality is that if you truly want to become an AI engineer and get rich fast with AI, you have to learn coding because it gives you control and flexibility. And this is where most people think because they think that programming is really hard. But Python is very similar to plain English. It's the most beginner friendly language. And most importantly, like I said, it's the language of AI. Every big tech company uses Python in some capacity to power the AI systems. And you don't need to become an expert overnight. When we think about learning with AI and building real AI skills, you have to think long term. AI isn't going anywhere overnight. So building that real foundation of programming with Python is a real good base to build up from. So ignore all the people that will tell you to use low code and no code tools to become an AI expert. If you want to become an AI expert, you need hands on engineering skills. There is no way around it. So whilst these guys are doing plug and play tools, you can have a real engineering skills and solve real business problems. Start by watching a few tutorials on YouTube. There are plenty of free resources out there to learn Python. Now, the goal isn't to become a fully fledged programmer, just to learn enough Python to unlock AI's potential. Step number four is to master AI API integration. Now, stick with me here because it sounds complex, but in reality, an API is actually just a direct connection between your application and AI models like ChatGPT. But crucially, instead of using ChatGPT's interface, you're basically getting VIP backstage access access to their technology. You'll then need to learn how to actually connect your applications directly to these powerful AI models through their APIs. This is so powerful because with a few lines of Python code, you can add an intelligent AI layer to any application that you build. This skill alone separates the amateurs from the pros. And at this point, the amount of money that you can make is probably capped at around 10 to 15K per project. So if you want to build the skill set to make $20,000 to $50,000 a month, that's where phase two comes in. 
scale, and specialize. In a few moments, I'll go over the different specialty paths that you can take. But first, in phase one, you learned how to build an AI application using Python and then connecting APIs, which is powerful. But it only works when your computer is running. If your laptop crashes, your business stops. If you get 100 users at once, everything will probably slow down or crash. The truth is, anything that you build locally cannot be accessed by the outside world, so your customers. And this is where the cloud comes in. The cloud solves all of these problems by running your applications on servers that never sleep and simply don't require your constant attention. Cloud providers like AWS give you a free tier with plenty of resources to get started without spending anything. As a beginner, you can use the AWS console and click through exactly what you need. Use AWS Lambda to run your Python code whenever someone uses your application without maintaining any servers yourself. Store your application's data and files in Amazon S3. You can use Amazon's API gateway to create secure access points for your users, and then you can leverage AWS Bedrock for streamlined access to multiple AI foundational models. You can even connect a payment system like Stripe, and suddenly you have the skills to build a real scalable AI business that runs 24 seven without your constant involvement. You are no longer selling your time for money. However, as your AI business grows on AWS, managing all of those cloud services becomes increasingly complex. So if something goes wrong and you need to rebuild it, you won't remember the exact steps that you took. And that's when you need step number six, implementing and learning infrastructure's code, also known as IAC. IAC solves these problems by turning your entire cloud setup into simple text files that automatically create and manage your infrastructure. So instead of clicking buttons on the AWS console, you'll write code that defines exactly what you want and AWS will build it for you. So learn the basics of Terraform or AWS CloudFormation. And don't worry, this isn't like learning a programming language from scratch because you've already picked up those Python skills. So infrastructure's code will be way more straightforward. Store these infrastructure files in GitHub to create a complete record of every change and allowing you to roll back if something goes wrong. This approach lets you recreate your entire infrastructure with a single command and gives you the foundations to be a real AI engineer in 2025. Because AI engineers are no longer building models. They have to know the infrastructure that they are building on. Now, just before we get to phase number three, we are at a crossroads. You can't become a jack of all trades you have to specialize and solve a specific problem with your AI skills. If you want to make 20 to $50,000 a month, you have to choose one or three paths that I'm going to share with you right now, starting with path number one, AI infrastructure or AI cloud engineer, which are both basically the same thing. This way you focus on the behind the scenes infrastructure that makes AI work in real companies. You'll be learning how to deploy AI models at scale, monitor them when they are running and set up the systems that automatically test and update them. You'll be also building the infrastructure that I mentioned that runs these AI models and AI applications. This path typically leads to a high paying corporate job with salaries ranging from $180,000 to all the way to $400,000 because companies desperately need people who can make AI work reliably in production. Option B is an industry specific AI solution. Here you can pick one vertical like healthcare, legal, finance, or real estate and become the AI expert in that industry. Instead of building generic AI tools, you're creating solutions that solve specific problems these industries face every single day. And that's the beauty of AI it can be personalized. For example, you might build AI systems that automatically review legal contracts or create AI assistants that help real estate agents qualify leads. The beauty of this path is that once you understand an industry's problems deeply, you can build solutions that multiple companies in that space will be willing to pay for. Option C is an AI SaaS product. This is the entrepreneurial path where you can build software products that use AI APIs under the hood and host them on the cloud and then finally sell them as a subscription service. You're you're essentially becoming a tech entrepreneur who uses AI as your competitive advantage. This focus here is on building products that solve problems for multiple customers and generate reoccurring monthly revenue. This path has the highest upside potential, but also is the most difficult one to follow. Regardless of your choice, you can make option one, two, three, if you want to get rich with AI, but also stay rich over the long term, you need phase three, become an irreplaceable AI expert. So phase three is about building expertise and authority. And this is very much a long term play. So here you want to build deep technical expertise, and this isn't achieved overnight, but you can start by studying deep learning concepts, natural language processing, as well as building a deep understanding of cloud security. Then you want to build in public, document what you're learning, share everything online and make posts on 
LinkedIn, or even start making YouTube videos. Now, it doesn't have to be high quality production, but in 2025, if you're not visible online, you simply don't exist. Back when I was coming into tech 10 years ago, everyone said that it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, in 2025 and beyond, in fact, it's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. So by following these two steps over a long enough time horizon, you create a never ending flywheel. Now, let me explain what I mean by never ending flywheel. Your AI business makes money that funds your learning and your upskilling. You're deepening your expertise that improves your AI business. You're growing your reputation that brings more clients and opportunities, which is creating a never ending flywheel. And this is how AI entrepreneurs build serious wealth in 2025 and beyond. And remember, the winners in the AI revolution aren't the people with the most degrees or theoretical knowledge. They are the ones who can actually use AI to solve valuable problems across different industries. So please don't be fooled. If you want to build real wealth, you have to solve real problems with real expertise. There's no way around it. But this roadmap is a step-by-step -step blueprint how to go from a beginner using AI prompts to building AI businesses. But let me say this one more time. You will not get rich by building AI solutions using low code and no code tools. The ones that are getting rich from that are the ones that are building the platforms that you're using to build the solutions for your customers. The ones that built that platform are real engineers, real AI expertise, know how to host these applications on the cloud. The money is in the platforms and the products, not in the low code, no code UI that you're using to build something fugazi. 